What's up my peoples? Welcome back to another episode of The Wheel Life. My name is John and on today's episode I am going to talk about Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month, what that means, and a few simple ways you can help raise awareness whether you have a spinal cord injury or not. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. So for those of you who don't know, September, as decided by the U.S. Senate, is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. And the whole goal of Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month is to educate people on how prevalent this injury is, as well as a way to spread prevention tips, because this injury is preventable, and increase support and understanding for those who are living with a spinal cord injury. You know, one thing that has always irked me about Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month is that if you yourself do not have a spinal cord injury, or if you do not know someone or follow someone online who has a spinal cord injury, chances are you would have no idea that September is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. It rarely gets any media attention, and to me, that is super frustrating. There are so many other awareness months, as there should be, but what's frustrating is many of those are plastered all over media campaigns, you see celebrities and influencers talking about them, but when it comes to our month of September, a Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month, it is largely silent. And to be frank, I'm quite sick of it. Look, a spinal cord injury is a life sentence that nobody asks for. And just because the media, celebrities, and influencers forget about us because we ain't trendy enough for their timelines, doesn't mean you should too. Because a spinal cord injury, it is life changing, it is life altering, and it deserves awareness brought to it. No different than the many other awareness month campaigns throughout the year. So let me just share a few statistics with you about spinal cord injuries to raise a wee bit of awareness as we get into this video. In the good old US of A, there are approximately 296,000 people who live with a spinal cord injury. Just a heads up, most of my statistics are from the US, so if you're from another country and you wanna share some statistics of what living with a spinal cord injury is like in those countries, please share them in the comments below. Let's raise that awareness. In the United States, every 48 seconds, someone is paralyzed. So that means by the end of this video, there will be multiple new spinal cord injured patients who are terrified and frightened, and we need to raise awareness for them and their families. And every single year in the US, there are 17,900 newly injured patients a year. And that is not including those who die on the scene from a spinal cord injury. Now, motor vehicle accidents, like the one I had, are the leading cause of spinal cord injuries. And that is followed by falls, acts of violence, like gunshot wounds, and then sports-related incidents. It is also said that 78% of spinal cord injuries are made up from men. And I believe that is because women mature a lot faster and men are somewhat more stupid than women. You can yell at me in the comments if you don't agree with that, but the statistics don't lie. Now, when we look at the age of those who have a spinal cord injury or are newly injured, you see a large majority of them are in the age brackets from 16 years old to 30 years old. But what's interesting, in recent years, the new average age of somebody with a spinal cord injury is 43 years old. So getting paralyzed used to be a young man's game, but now all these older people, because we're living healthier and more active lives, are seemingly getting injured at a more frequent pace, which is kind of surprising. Another thing to consider is that the expenses living with a spinal cord injury is absolutely wild. So if you are living as a paraplegic at any level, it costs about $67,000 a year. When it comes to quadriplegics, 
when you live with a spinal cord injury between C5 and C7, like I do, it's estimated that it costs around $111,000 a year. And when you are a quadriplegic of the level C1 through C4, which is a lot higher up and a lot worse off, their estimated costs of living year after year is about $181,000 a year. We always say it's pretty expensive to be disabled. My last statistic that I would share with you is the leading cause of death for those with spinal cord injuries. And the leading cause of death is really two things, pneumonia and septicemia. So these are just a few and really standard statistics to get you familiar with the frequency and causes of a spinal cord injury. And these statistics do not even begin in the slightest to scratch the surface of what people in the spinal cord injury community go through on a daily basis. What you see from the outside versus what we as spinal cord injured survivors actually go through on a daily basis is legitimately mind blowing. And to illustrate that for you, I found what's called the spinal cord injury iceberg graph. And I'm gonna put that up on the screen. You can feel free to pause the video for a second and check it out because it's so true. What you see that we go through is just the tip of the iceberg. So check that out and educate yourself. All right guys, so now I'm at the point in the video where I wanna share three ways that you can help spread awareness of Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month, whether you have a spinal cord injury or not. So let's go. So my first suggestion, whether you have a spinal cord injury or not, is to support disabled creators who use their platform, no matter how big or how small that might be, to spread awareness of what living with a spinal cord injury is like. Seriously, most everybody nowadays is on social media, right? And it costs you absolutely nothing to like, comment, and share a post created by someone with a spinal cord injury who is using their platform to raise awareness. So y'all just take a minute to stop arguing about politics on Facebook and share something that will add value to another person's life. So my next suggestion, especially for those who do not live with a spinal cord injury, is to take some time and try to educate yourself about what living with a spinal cord injury is actually like and brush up on many of the issues that we face on a daily basis. Because really, the whole point of Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month is to educate the public on what it is really like, what the challenges of living with a spinal cord injury are really like. So the more you know, the more you educate yourself, the more you can be a better ally to your wheelchair living homies. So my third and final suggestion, this one goes out to all my spinal cord injured survivors. I wanna encourage each and every one of you to use your voice and use your story. Look, I get it. The cards that we have been dealt in this life, they're not the best. They're not the most fun. But God has given each and every one of us a voice and a unique story that has the ability to change lives and change lives for our community of spinal cord injured people as a whole. So I encourage you to use this month, to use your platform, whether you have five followers or 50,000, to educate other people, to put yourself out there, to educate others on what living with a spinal cord injury is really like. And trust me, I get it. As someone with a spinal cord injury, it's kind of scary to be vulnerable. It's kind of scary to put yourself out there, but the cost that far outweighs the benefits. Use your voice, use your story, use your platform. Look, whether you have a spinal cord injury or not, I just, I encourage you this month to do your part. So I would really love for those who are able-bodied to take this month and when you are out and about, when you're at a restaurant, when you're walking around town somewhere, I want you to stop and think. 
and look around at your surroundings. Look around at the sidewalks that have cracks and potholes all in them. Look around at the doors in places like Barnes & Noble that weigh like 4,000 pounds that you might not think anything of. But to us in wheelchairs, it just makes our lives so much harder. For a moment, for this month at least, please put yourselves in our seats and think about the lack of accessibility that we have. Think about the lack of awareness that we have. And by doing this, you are engaging in Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. And by doing so, you have the potential to reduce the numbers of newly spinal cord injured people and to help make the world that already spinal cord injured people a better place to live in, a more accessible place, a more inclusive place. This video does nothing else for you. I just hope and I pray it helps you be thankful for the working limbs you have and the ease of accessibility you are privileged to have. Let's all take a day, take 31 days, take 365 days to count our blessings and be grateful for what we have because we all have something to be thankful for. Happy Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. I hope this video added value to your life. If it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. But I just, I pray that this helped you in some way. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're keeping the faith. I'll see you in another video soon. Let's go.